Tom was just in here, he was talking about how he was probably as emotional as he's been in a long time. What did you notice from his emotion uh, after the game? I think we're all pretty emotional. Um, it's coming to a rough environment where probably most of everybody didn't think we were going to win this football game. So we took it as a challenge and we knew it was going to be a tough four quarter football game. That's a good football team that we beat and they took everything we got. James, how much did you guys set the tone on that first drive? And, you know, 15 plays, 8 yards, 0-5. You know, how much did that set the tone for this game? It definitely set the tone a little bit. We're playing against an offense like that who can score any time. It's good for us to go out and score on our first drive. Obviously, we didn't kind of keep our foot on the gas like in that third and second quarter, but um, we just found a way to win the football game. Part of the game plan sort of, I mean, you guys dominated time of possession. You doubled them up in plays. You ran 90-something plays. They ran 47. Is that part of the game plan to sort of help your defense? Oh, well, we knew we had to run the football. It wasn't just about the time possession. Um, they're a good pass defense. They have good pass rushers, so you just can't drive back and throw the ball 60 times. So we had to run the ball effective. James, we talked about it all week and all said what said, but how important was it to start fast and get a 14 nothing lead and then going into halftime? Well, it's important to start fast, but we knew no lead is unreachable from these guys. They can score in two, three plays each drive. So we knew we had to score more points and I said they fought back to the lead. It's a crazy football game. Just happy to come out with a win. What do you think the offensive line fed the way you guys really grinded out some of those first downs and running the ball? I mean, they've been huge for us all year long. I don't think they really get the credit that they deserve in the running game, the passing game. I mean, they've been opening up huge holes for us and giving Tom plenty of time to throw the football. And they do a great job every week. Do you just relish being kind of a smash mouth team with the two tight ends and the pullback? And yeah, I mean, each week could be different. Um, we can smash mouth one week, air it out another week. We just do whatever it takes to get, get wins. James, um, Julian Edelman is a, a huge factor down the stretch. What does it say about a guy to have the stretch where he had the near muff on the punt and then the ball walk stands for the pick and then come back and be instrumental down the stretch? I mean, he's laser focused no matter what's going on. And I said it was a close call, but he knew he didn't touch it. so. I mean, he just wanted to go out there and make plays and do whatever he could to help our team get wins. He made some huge catches on third down down the stretch. Him, Gronk, everybody did a great job executing on that last drive. James, you've been in the league now five years, and this will be the fourth trip to the Super Bowl. Um, is it surreal to, to kind of get your head around that continuous success? Yeah, it's definitely surreal, but definitely don't take the opportunity for granted. Um, it's definitely not easy to make it to this point, playoffs period. So we put a lot of hard work in OTAs, training camp, regular season, just to get the games like this. So you want to go out there and try to play your best football, no matter whether it's your first time or fifth time, tenth time, whatever it is. Yeah, Brian Hoyer to around just that he had seen Tom before the game and just that he thought he saw a look, you know. Curious, what, what are your thoughts on Tom and just the way he went about it today? Well, he's just laser focused. Like I said, we all accept it as a challenge. We knew it was going to be tough. We knew it was going to be a four quarter football game. We knew it was going to be loud. It's going to take our best effort if we wanted to win this football game. It was, you know, kind of up and down game and I mean, everything that we expected. And everybody stayed locked in. Four lead changes in the fourth quarter. What was that like? Last question, guys. Emotional. <laughs> um, I mean, it's not really emotional. It's just football. It's going to be ups and downs. Going to be winning sometimes, going to be losing at some point in the game. So you just got to find a way to grind it out. Thank you, James. Julian Edelman is next.